Hi, it's Anne from The Useless Crafter. We're going to be personalizing uh, tumblers today because these tumblers, we need them for school, but they're expensive, and so it's not something that I want to replace all the time. So it's going to be easily identifiable, and no one else is going to be taking my daughter's tumblers. <laughs> all right, so um, this is the one that I've already done. She's been using it. I absolutely love it. It is using Cricut's holographic vinyl and it has it's called holographic threads so it's a little bit different than just the regular holographic and the cool thing about it is it literally looks like it's got threads running through and it's got um green dark blue light blue it is just really gorgeous i know the video is not really doing it justice but anyway we're going to be doing it two different methods this is the one that i typically do which is I wipe it with rubbing alcohol and then, and let's do that now. So I'm just going to take a little bit of rubbing alcohol onto my paper towel. I drink a lot of iced tea and so I get lots of drink holders from wherever I go. And so these are great to hold my, you know, my little cylinder items so that it doesn't move. And that way I can put this on. So I am rubbing it clean like that, okay? So that all our oils from natural oils from our fingers and any dirt that would keep the vinyl from actually sticking forever that's what we're doing right now we're cleaning it up and we're not going to touch it again with our fingers all right the wet method i have a water bottle i'm going to add uh for every one cup of water which is great right here so this hit only has eight ounces so uh let's do eight ounces so I'm pouring it straight in for every eight ounces we're gonna put two drops of whoa I almost dropped it <laughs> just two little drops one whoa, two okay and then we're gonna shake it up and we're gonna spray it and what happens is uh, this is going to allow the vinyl to kind of move around on the piece. We can squeeze out um, all of the uh, bubbles so that it lays flat. Now, I personally like the way I do it um, with just transfer tape. And so, sorry, I just need to check this. Okay. Um, I use transfer tape and I also... I'm very particular with the designs that I do so that I don't have a problem with water with any bubble bubbling so you can kind of feel it it feels good it's flat um, you know I want it to stay on I like picking um, having a lot of control over the designs so that it's easier to, to put down so anyway here is this I'm gonna shake it up so that it gets you know sudsy so this is what it's gonna look like. This is crazy. All right, so I'm gonna spray it on here. Hold on, did I turn this? Since we just did this one. Okay, here we go. All right, so we sprayed it on. That one's gonna have it. Um, I already have my cup vinyl over here. So here are the rest of them. Okay, uh, give me one second. Get the transfer tape. So let's do this. I'm going to cut this one piece off. Okay, so I'm going to move this out of the way for so that you can see me doing this. Okay, and then you want to get. Um, you know, something like this so that you can get it to really stick on the transfer tape. And I like to pull from behind like this. And then I'm going to pull this right back at a very, um, I'm going to pull it all the way back to this piece so that I'm not, um, I'm not competing with the transfer tape. I don't want to be pulling on the sticker at all. So I'm pulling it all the way back like this. Super easy, right? And I put it down like this. 
And now we're gonna squeeze out basically all of the the water from behind, the soapsy, sudsy piece. We're gonna get all of that out. And I can feel it, it's really flat. I don't see any bubbling at all. Let's see what we have here. But it's not sticking to the bottle right now. So let's make sure it's all out. feel about this my s didn't really stick down at all i may have put too much water too much of the spray the outline came down really easily sure how I feel about the wet method right now because <laughs> it moved to my C everything is down flat I don't see any bubbles I'm actually going to use this um, napkin just to dry it out and I still don't want to touch it right I just want to see It's totally down. There are no bubbles. I'm just squeezing everything out. It looks great, except for that my C moved, right? So that's my original. And then let's do it the way I normally would do it. <laughs> um, okay, this one still works. Let me cut this one out. Okay, so I've got this, so I'm going to move this one out of the way. Put this down. Make sure it sticks. Pull it back all the way. And you see it's not like competing with it at all. It stays on there. We're all good. So I like to hold my transfer sheet super taut like this so that there's no bubbling at all. And I put it down, and then down the middle, and then I like to go out like this so that the air has a chance to kind of like go out this way through the whiskers. And then I go on this side, same thing, kind of like from middle out so that all my air bubbles are being pushed out this way, if there are any. Just 
Take a look. And then the thing is, you want to let this cure. So don't wash it. Don't you know? Don't touch it. Um, I'm gonna let it sit for like a week before I actually use it. And so yeah, this is looking good. Yep. Okay, so I'm gonna push down on it with my napkin again just to see. So that was I I don't know, I'm so used to doing it this way. That was a great application, no bubbles and super fast, right? So between the design um and the application method, I you know it's been easy for me, so we'll see. All right, this is down as well. This one looks good. Yeah, they're, so all three of them. All right, let me know what you think. I, I probably sprayed it too much. I don't know. I uh, would love your thoughts on it. All right, bye guys.